everybody and welcome to a very quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering trading, specifically trading with some elves, although this goes for anybody except with a few caveats when trading with elves. So we have these elves that have arrived and they are at our trading depot. The trading depot is one of the first things you should build when building a new fortress. It can be found just here underneath the build menu, so simply click on the build menu, click on trading depot, and then place it wherever you would like. Uh, you can place it indoors, however, as time goes on and the caravans get bigger, eventually they're going to start bringing wagons, and wagons actually require a decent amount of space to get into your fortress. Two tiles, and can't go through doors. However, uh, the initial carts that traders bring are quite small, and you can uh, trade with them with only just a door. So theoretically, you could put your first one entirely indoors if you wanted to keep it safe from threats. So in order to trade, in the nobles screen, which can be found by pressing N on the keyboard, or by clicking on the nobles button down here, uh, we have to have a broker assigned. This is optional. If you have a broker assigned, uh, which can be any dwarf, um, this are, these two dwarves have some skills needed for brokering, but if you don't have one assigned, there is a second option. But I do recommend that you have a broker assigned for this task, as it will improve that dwarf's uh, negotiation skills and over time allow them to get you better prices. But when we click on the trade depot here, once the people are in it, or once they've arrived, we have the option to move goods to and from the depot. Now, I don't have a ton to trade in this fortress, unfortunately. Uh, our, our crafts are limited, um, but what we do have uh, uh, is um, a couple of crowns around the place, so we're going to sell them this dolomite crown. We also have some earrings, which are also all made of stone. So we're going to bring these over as well. We also have some figurines, as you can see. So elves are good for trading with because they bring useful items. We're also going to sell them a bunch of mugs because mugs are an easy thing for dwarves to make en masse. So when elves show up to trade, there is a caveat. They do not like purchasing wood. So we do have to be a little bit careful on what we're bringing to sell to them. So as you can see here, it says they are bringing these 144 items to trade. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to click broker requested at depot. Now, if you didn't assign a broker, you can just request anyone, but you might get a dwarf with no skills in trading and your prices will suck. So what we're going to click now is broker requested at depot. And so now, as you can see here, broker can access depot. Our broker is currently working on a rock coffin. So once they're finished completing that coffin, they will come over and trade, but it's okay. They have a little bit of time as we need these items to arrive first. So once all 133 items have been brought to trade and our broker has arrived after this meeting they're finishing conducting, uh, then we will discuss trading itself. It is worth noting that you do have a decent amount of time to trade. The traders usually come at the beginning of a season and generally stick around for over a month, so you have a pretty healthy amount of time to trade. If you're not sure where the calendar is, it's located right next to the moon, just above the trading screen. Currently, we are in the 13th of Slate, mid-spring in the year 52. Now, as you can see, this is the notification over here on the left that they will be leaving soon. However, we still have a couple of days left, and our trader is currently, eh, was coming over to help us, but is, oh, there we go, is now coming to help us, was busy conducting a meeting and speaking with a citizen. But first, they're on their way, now they're on their way over finally, and now that they've arrived, we can trade at the depot. This button becomes white when trading is available. Note, because this is a full screen, uh, screen the game will pause in the background, so you can can take all your time and you don't have to worry about pausing. And the, the elves over here, who's Mifa, uh, Mifava Memotheolesi, the elf merchant says, greetings, we are enchanted by your more ethical works, implying they don't want to trade for wood. Now, as you can see, we have all these yellow items, all these shale mugs here. I kind of wish that I was able to get more stuff into the trading, but seeing as they're leaving soon, I kind of want to get part of the trading done at the very least. Now, because I've only brought these shale mugs, I know for a fact none of these items are made out of wood. As our dwarf gets better at trading, if an item has wood in it, uh, they will mark it a different color. So it does become quite easy to not screw up trading with elves. Although just as kind of a general rule, don't sell them barrels, just don't sell them anything encrusted with wood, and you should be fine. Um, but generally, I just focus on crafts and materials that I made myself, where I am 100% aware what is in our trading options. So now just kind of explaining the UI here. We have our stuff over here on the right, their stuff over here on the left. We can search their stuff with this, or we can search our stuff. We can select all and we can fold these tabs down, up and down with trading. And then we can kind of skim through what they have. Down here on the bottom, 
uh, because I I haven't actually uh, op, like asked for anything yet. We can just see the val the total value of my items down here, which is one three seven two zethal, which is my personal term for dwarf bucks or money. Uh, over here, you can see their profit. They're gonna want to make about thirty percent profit. However. As we get better at trading and our haggling skill goes up on our broker, the odds that we'll be able to trade for more at better prices go up. So we're just going to kind of take a look at what our options are. Looks like they have a giant kakapo here. Uh, and they also have a uh, like an ibex as well as a blue jay and some other animals in these cages. All right, all right, all right. That's a tab I think I'm going to leave open. We have some toys. Uh, we have some sort of musical instrument that we probably don't know how to play. Some sandy clay. I'm going to keep the, the cages open because that one's interesting. Interesting. We got some barrels. Uh, they're selling a bucket. Uh, they're selling some some weapons. Uh, they're selling a bow. Uh, they're selling various other things. But I think the only thing that I want would be that giant animal. So what I think we're gonna do here is we're gonna just kind of continue skimming through and see what else they have. Oh, they've got seeds. Okay, okay. Uh, berries, food, cherries, some gloves. Uh, they brought a skirt, uh, a splint, some rope, a loincloth, uh, giggity. Let's keep closing down until we make it down to the bottom. Sweet. All right. So we've kind of gone through everything that they have now. And what I would like to purchase from you is that giant tame kakapo. If it's if it's brought to you by a trader, it's tame. So you don't need to worry about taming it, which is the best part. So now we have some other buttons here. We can mark all or unmark all. Very useful tools. Uh, once again, I just need to grab my kakapo. C's will steal everything from their inventory that I have selected. Okay. So that will piss them off. I can offer them items as a gift, which gives them this stuff for free um, and will make their faction happier with me. And then, of course, we have the mark all and unmark all options on the right side. And then, because all we're going to do is trade, let's see if they accept the deal. We can see their profit here and the value of the item that I'm purchasing and the amount of weight that they can carry. The weight is listed right here. We're going to click trade. And they say, ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. And they seem pleased with the trading. They got just over a 30% sale on that, and we acquired a giant kakapo. If you have any questions about trading, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, there's a whole bunch of Dwarf Fortress tutorials on this YouTube channel. And if you want to see my face while I play video games on the internet, just go over to twitch.tv slash blindirl for more Dwarf Fortress than you could reasonably watch in a reasonable amount of time. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.